Chandler now pouncing. Alvarez bleeding terribly out of the mouth. Chandler letting go with the full on ground and pound. He needs to get space. He needs to get up right now. Chandler, Michael Chandler is all over him. Chandler trying to move the side control and he has it. Chandler knee on belly passes. Beautiful pass now into mount for Michael Chandler. And he has great recovery, but he's mounted right now. Now giving up his back. Chandler with That's the it. And it's a There's the top, and we have a new champion. That right hand was landing all night, but this time he was able to get on top, able to get in his comfort zone on a rocked and hurt Eddie Alvarez and never let him off the hook here in full mount. Eddie turned his back and from here, that's it, arm underneath. Power, Mataleon, rear naked choke. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage by way of a rear naked choke. The tap comes officially, three minutes, six seconds into round number four. The winner by submission, and now the new Bellator lightweight world champion, Michael Chandler. Fight, guys. Round number one. Our fight clock is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. Quick takedown from Ward. Nice timing on that takedown. Gave up the armbar, that's it! And there's the tap just like that for Aaron Johnson! Man, that was simple. Man, beautiful job, great torque. Brennan Ward just shell-shocked, did not know what hit him. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the end comes 15 seconds into round number one. The tap brought on by the armbar winner by submission, Aaron Tex Johnson. Let's go fight. Round number one. Tonight's fight clock, big knee. We'll get to the fight clock in a moment. It's about to be unnecessary, I think. Going hard for the guillotine. Vicky looking for the guillotine finish. He's in the gray trunks. Peterson in the camouflage trunks. I think he's out. I think he's out. out. Technical out. submission win for Dave Vicky. Easy, easy, easy. Clock has been Rip unnecessary up, tonight. He was out. He was unconscious. His ear, that right. body kick started it. Remember that part. Yeah. Nice knee off balance. Thanks, but just the aggression of Big K saw the guillotine and went for it with everything he had. It was an all or nothing commitment in this fight. He was going for the finish. If it didn't happen, he didn't care. He was going to go hard for the finish, and he got it only 18 seconds. Joy for Dave Big K. That's an outstanding celebration. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage. No tap inside the cage. Therefore, the technical submission comes by way of a guillotine choke. The official time, 18 seconds into round number one, the A-Town Ogre, David K. Gary needs to be very careful in this position. This fight hitting the ground at this time with two minutes left in this round is not a good position for Darren Cruikshank to be in. You hear the corner talking about wrist control. Kirk Shrink trying to use that defensively three minutes into round number one. Yeah, it's getting bad right now. This is where Goichi is outstanding. The rear naked choke is his key. And it's all over! Goichi Yamauchi by rear naked choke! Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen inside, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end. The tap by way of a rear naked choke officially. Three minutes, 11 seconds, round number one by submission. The winner, Goichi Yamauchi. Great way to start in front of friends and family here in Japan for Goichi Yamauchi. I'm here with your winner, Goichi Yamauchi. That was a beautiful display of being calm in a grappling situation. You pushed off the fence, you got him to the ground. Talk to me about that last rear naked choke attempt. Konnichiwa, um, Nihon. You know, this is my game. I, I think I'm the best in the world when we talk about uh, grappling game inside MMA. So. 
uh, I did a job. I did everything that I've been exercising uh, inside my practice. So uh, this is a result of uh, hard work and dedication. And you know, Neiman's going to find that out in all these positions that he's getting in. John believes that if he understands who he's against and what's going on, you're not going to be able to just take this back and submit it. Another takedown. Beautiful takedown. But what John needs to do is he needs to tripod up and push his hands to the mat. What Ed Ruth made the mistake last night of doing is letting his balance get taken forward. They're talking to each other with smiles on the face. That's good. It is all over. Just like that. The smile goes away and the finish goes to Gracie. Take a look at what's going on here. This is where he had his leg trapped. You see John's left leg under there. Look at where he's got the heel. He is knee barring and pulling on that with a twist. It's almost a, a connection of that heel hook, the inverted heel hook, but the straight knee bar position. He's pulling and twisting that down. That is an inverted heel hook with the hips engaging that knee. That is a painful submission. Beautiful job by Neiman Grace. Yeah, so what you're going to see here is you need to see John Fitch tilt himself forward so he can put the bottom of his foot flat to the canvas so that Neiman couldn't get underneath the heel to get to there. Ladies and gentlemen inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes officially four minutes, 47 seconds, round number two by way of a heel hook. He is the winner by submission, Neiman Gracie. Like Josh made the point about the fight we saw before, if you hold on to one attempt too long, you can burn yourself out. In this case, Patchy No Love Mix is not doing it. Now he's going after look what he's doing here. This is a silhouette stretch if he gets it. That is a painful maneuver. And it is all over! Patchy No Love Mix is 12-0. Right here, when he goes and you see him drop it back, I knew he was thinking of that silhouette stretch. He grabs that ankle and now he straightens the leg. And when he does, the pressure on the hamstring is incredible. You see that leg get stretched all the way across the body. Watch the torque and the pressure on the hamstring here. Look at where his leg is at. It's now straight on the outside. That's a terrible position to be in. Amar Suluev made that. His technique, it has now come into play multiple times in MMA fights, but a first for Patchy Betts. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a knee bar. Officially, three minutes, 49 seconds, round number one, the winner by submission, Patchy Gracie as they get underway quickly, and Aviv looks for an early submission. He went right for an Imanari roll. Right now, he's in a position to get this heel hook. And he's in a right there. It's so over. Just like that. Wow. Here you go. Comes out quickly. Imanari rolls into that leg. He gets a hold of it. He's to set his legs in position. Now he has it. Starting to put pressure on that. Beautiful heel hook. The Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of the heel hook officially. 11 seconds into round number one. The winner by submission, still undefeated, the king of Viva Mosali. Now, this is a massive test of that Utsun cardio that we talked about, the late replacement. Now, Clark trying to grind him down. Clark's got it! He's done it again! Round three, rear naked, Kieran Clark delivers! Swings the leg over, he tries to go to the, gets his hooks, and he tries to quickly go to the figure four. Can't get it right away. Then he locks it in right there. Utsun did a good job. The first time when he went for the choke, you saw Utsun turn towards him to take that pressure off of that choke. He went to a baseball grip on the arms. You see both of his hands there. There's your baseball grip on the arm, but he let go of it. And when he did, you saw Kieran Clark bring that arm across. And that arm is what was the end of the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, two minutes, 50 seconds into round number three. 
the tap by way of a rear naked choke for the winner by submission still undefeated Kira. Step over, going for the armbar, finishing this Jeez. early. That's deep. Jessica Middleton in a world of trouble. Doesn't have a lot of room to spin out of it. Now she's going hard for it. Hips all the way in. She's going to have to turn it. She's flexible, but only save her for so long. But she is not letting this go. Trying to put it behind the armpit. That's there it. it is. Every time we see her, Alima Lay McFarland is more and more impressive. Look at it here. This is when it's ultra tight. Too much for Jessica Middleton. Beautiful stuff by Alima Lay McFarland. You know where she wants to fight on the ground, and that's why she is a killer. Don't let the pretty face fool you. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of an arm bar official time. Two minutes, 15 seconds into round number one. The winner by submission, the Eliminator, Eliminator McFarland. Great point, Jimmy, on Herb Dean, because he's very content in the work of John Salter. He knows what's going on. He does. Salter right now all over Dustin Dacoby. Once again, both hooks in. Rear naked, he's got that it. That is tight, that's under the chin. Herb Dean taking a really close look, and there's the tap. A cool, calm, efficient victory for John Salter. You're seeing right now could have been any moment in this fight. Salter on top, good hip pressure, dominant position, and was able to get the rear naked choke, that arm underneath the chin. Too much pressure for Dustin Jacoby. But physically, the positioning, the pressure, this is where he was the entire fight. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a rear naked choke. Official time, three minutes, 33 seconds into round number two. The winner by submission, John Salter.